Mario, Joshua, Mills, Mario Christine, Danny, welcome, Oscar, all of our family, Natalie, hello Miss Birdie, all welcome hello, Mother Yeti, hello Mother Martin, hello Mother Martin, hello Mother Martin, Hi Kennedy and Veda. Ms. Bruce Samuel. We're happy to see you again. And it's a good day to be in the Sunshine Club. And Mother Getty, tell us what we're going to be doing today. Okay. Today. Maybe some of you can read this. So not everyone comes to know Jesus early in their lives, right? Mm -hmm. So, for some of this might happen only at the end of a lifetime. But Jesus is loving and generous. Now, I think we're going to have some problems in this gospel today, right? In our well, thinking, I you know, we're not always agreed really and we fair. try to find some, you know, we're fighting for something that you say, yes. but that's for later. So, <laughs> yeah, our Father is generous, and today we learn that those who follow Him will receive the same reward at the end of time. So, our Miss Birdie and Mother, da Mother Martha mm -hmm. <laughs> will explain that much later. But first, we need to enlighten our candle. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, our beautiful picture that Mother Yeti got for us, of lighting the candles. Okay. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Yay. I always love that song because it makes me realize how good it is that we have Jesus' words to help us. So, what is next, Mother Yeti? So we're going to see uh, a video. Okay. That tells us about what this means to be. Yes. It's about how Jesus tells a story about workers in the vineyard. One day, long ago, Jesus was preaching God's message when he described God and his kingdom like the owner of a vineyard. The owner of a vineyard once had a very good harvest and needed people to help pick the grapes. So he went out in the morning to the marketplace to look for people who could help him. He saw some idle men sitting so he went up to them and offered them the work at his vineyard. He said, Work for me in the vineyard, and in return, I shall pay you one silver coin. One silver coin was a lot for a day's work, so the men agreed. The vineyard owner felt he needed more workers at noon, so he went out to the marketplace again to look. He found more men doing nothing, so he made them the same offer. In the evening, he went to the marketplace yet again to search for more men. He again found people who weren't willing to work. As the day ended, it was time for the owner to pay his workers. He paid each of them with a silver coin as he had promised. Seeing this, the workers who had been present in the vineyard since morning were very angry. They felt it was not fair since they had been working since the morning. The owner calmly said, I am paying the amount that I had promised. Jesus then explained to the crowd that just like the vineyard owner, God's love and kindness is the same for all. So, did you kids understand what Jesus tried to tell through the story? Yes, I did. God loves us all equally. Well, today's question is, what did the man tell the people he would pay them if they helped pick grapes? He said that he would give them one silver coin. Excellent, Tuppy. So, so that's now. quite something. I think now it's on Miss Birdie. I will appoint our camera to her.
because she will give us some of reflections. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is Miss Birdie. Good Say morning. hi to Miss Birdie, all of you. Hello, Miss uh, Good morning, everybody. How did you like that video? I love that. Our resident uh, artist. <laughs> I love that. Uh, thank you. I love that. Um, I love that little worm creature. Uh, Mother Yeti said it looked like me. <laughs> Could it be the glasses? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a very interesting story, wasn't it? And um, I was thinking about that story, and I thought, do we know how lucky we are? Do you know why we're so lucky? We know Jesus. We know Jesus right now, and we're here in the Sunshine Club learning even more about Jesus. But you know, there's some people that don't know Jesus at all. And um, sometimes they don't know until they become um, an adult, you know, or some people, not even to the, almost the end of their life. There's actually some people that met Jesus when they were dying on their, on their deathbed. So um, today we're going to look at a lesson um, that Jesus taught. He, he told this parable. That's the uh, big word for um, a story. And Jesus would use stories to explain what the kingdom of God was like. So today's story, we start with there's a man that has a vineyard. A vineyard's where you grow grapes and you can make raisins and wine with it. And anyway, he had a big harvest and he goes, oh my God, what am I, what, how am I going to get all this stuff out of here? So early in the morning, he went out to look for people that weren't working and he found these people. And he says, who will harvest my vineyard? I will pay you one silver coin for the day's work. And they went, oh my gosh, that's good. You know, silver coin in those days was a lot of money. And so this guy goes, I will. And he says, me too. And this other guy's just thinking, yeah, that's not bad, you know. So they went out there and they were working very, very hard. And so hours go by and it's more in the afternoon. And um, the owner's walking through the vineyard and he goes, oh my gosh, there's so much more work to do. So he goes back out and looks for more people. And he's saying, oh, so much work to be done. Oh, please come to my vineyard and, and help bring this beautiful harvest in. And um, there were these people say, oh, as you wish. Okay, I'll go work for you. And, and he says, oh, thank you. He says, I'm going to give you one silver coin for you to come and work for me. Thank you so much. So the day goes on and, and the sun starts going down and it's, it's time to, for the owner to pay the people. So everybody's lining up and um, the, the uh, people that were there for a very short time um, go first and uh, um, the owner gives them the silver coin, you know, and they go, oh, thank you so much, thank you. But the people that have been working all day are in the back of the line, they're going, wow, he gave them a, co a silver coin, what are we going to get? Because we've been here all day, right? <laughs> Well, guess what? When they get up there, the owner gives them a silver coin. So they're like, what? We were out there all day. We, we should be getting way more than, we should be getting five silver coins. And the owner says, he goes, don't complain because I've been generous. He said, you, you agreed to come and work for, you know, one silver coin for the day. I, I've kept my word to you. And they're going, oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. But the people that came later, they were going, thank you for your kindness. So what this story is about, Jesus would tell parables to give people an idea of how things work. What he was talking about was the kingdom of God. The vineyard is God's kingdom. You know, and God the Father and the, and the Son, they, they have the kingdom. And the workers are us, you know. And what our job is, is to go out and tell people about Jesus. We've been blessed to know Jesus. But God the Father and Jesus want everybody to know about the kingdom of God and they want them to share into this happiness for eternity. And so they want us workers to go out and tell, tell the good news that Jesus is here and that God loves us and that we're all gonna live happily in eternity together. And that's the reward. And that's the lesson of today. Thank you, Miss Verdi. Now, Thank Mother you. Marta. Very good. I really appreciate that. And you know, we think about it, that sure was a long time ago, and I wonder how we apply it today. Because if you think about it, some of you children 
have known Jesus all your lives and your parents have taken you to church and you come to the Sunshine Club and so you will grow up and have your entire lives where you know what it means to follow Jesus. But then some people don't hear about Jesus until maybe they're already adults and working and maybe they have children of their own and they come to Jesus and they're very happy to follow Jesus. So they have a good number of years left to serve Jesus. And then some people come when they're very old, even older than me. And they come and they are happy to know who Jesus is. They're near the end of their lives and they give their hearts to Jesus. And then at the end, Jesus rewards those who followed him all their lives those who came some time later and those who came at the end of their lives and they're all getting the same reward in heaven and there might be another way to think about it too let's say we have a family in which there are three kids and on on uh, saturday morning the family does a cleanup and there's a two-year-old who helps as best she can doing what she's able at two years old to help the family. And then there's a six-year-old who can do a lot more. And then there's a 13-year-old who can really do almost anything that an adult can do, that the parents can do. And they all work with the parents and do their fair share as they are able. And at the end of the day, the parents give them each a lovely ice cream cone. Now, wasn't that a good end of that story? You work hard and help your parents. And then each one, the two-year-old and the six-year-old and the 13-year-old, all get an ice cream cone. So we might think in some way that's not very fair because the six-year-old and the 13-year-old did most of the work and the two-year-old was trying her best but she's not really able to do very much but she did her best, she really tried. And that, my friends, is all that Jesus requires of us whether we are able or not able, if we do our best and do our part, whatever that might be, to serve Jesus. Well, thank you, Mother Martha. Thank you, thank you. So, but this is still the dot, 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 right? There's still yes. something else to come. So, hmm, I'm not quite, I wonder what I'm not mean. quite agree with all that. Maybe, huh, okay, wait. You've got another really good video. Mother Yeti's always got a trick up your sleeve, so not she? <laughs> You're going to love this one. Okay, well, There once was a man who owned a vine yard, and he did some men to work very hard. He hired some men early in the day, and told them that the Aries would be there today. Every few hours he hired.
some get saved after they are old, or live a short while after entering the bowl. But nonetheless, on Judgment Day, both may end up receiving the same exact pay. For the point is not simply doing his biz, but rather revealing how gracious he is. visit, she gave me a dollar bill. Whoa. In those days, that was a lot of money. It might be like you kids getting five or ten or twenty dollars from your grandma, but one dollar in those days was a lot. Yeah. And I felt I had been rewarded just for being with my grandma. And we are rewarded just for being with and, and listening to Jesus and following his right. word. But you know what? That uh, You being with your grandma, that's a lot how it is with Jesus. Because your grandma really loved you. Oh, all. she did. She loved you. And, she and that's did. all that mattered to her. And that's how Jesus is. Exactly. He loves us so much and the Father loves us so much. And yeah. they just want to shower the love on everybody. They want everybody to be included. Exactly. You know. Like you said, our God is genius. Yeah, come all over here. Okay, you need to okay. be in the camera. Uh oh. Yeah, so here is this. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do our prayers. And we have a very special prayer before we do our world and all country prayers for everybody. So, Bertie, can you pray for uh, Jim? Yes. Jim or most of our. Um, the ones who's watching, knowing Jim Tuma, he is the husband of Catherine Tuma. He was the fixture of videotaping and bringing the mass on the TV and all that. He did much more, and he was very, very loyal, as well to his job, as well as to the church. So let us pray for him as we go before our intercessions prayers then. Yes, dear God, we thank you so much for the gift of Jim that you've given us all these years, a beautiful, sweet man, a loyal and faithful servant to you. And uh, he so um, enhanced our services with the, the beautiful pictures. He would, he told me one time that um, he would look uh, for those pictures um, for each mass, and he was just so, so good and conscientious about everything. And, he loved his wife Catherine so much and she loved him and, and they have a beautiful daughter and um, now, now a grandchild and it was um, such a shock. He died very suddenly and uh, we ask you to welcome him into your kingdom. We know you do because we know you love uh, Jim so much and we ask you to comfort uh, Catherine and her family for the, uh, the big shock and, and loss of, of living, losing Jim. It was such a big and wonderful part of their life. Your God, welcome him into the, your kingdom. Amen. Amen. As brothers and sisters in one loving family, together let us pray to our Heavenly Father. We pray for peace and friendship among all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for understanding, respect, and fairness throughout our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for people who suffer any kind of hardship or pain. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the workers in the kingdom of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. Prayers. Knowing that our Heavenly Father is listening in the silence of our hearts, let us share our unspoken or spoken prayers with him. Lord, we raise up your servant, your servant Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and all that she did for your people in this country. We praise you for her good work in this world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our Jewish brothers and sisters who are now celebrating their new year, Happy New Year. 
Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. Hear and, uh, our prayer. Yeah, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, as we make our way through life, let us help one another to follow the path that leads to your heavenly kingdom. Grant this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Well, what a story. What an interesting story. And as I spoke with Miss Birdie, preparing our lessons, it came to us how still, and I think it's normal that we're still thinking sometimes too human, and we try to bring everything, you know, let me say in some kind of boxes, you know, this person does deserve that box, the other deserve that box, and yeah, whoa! But here we are, you know, you see how God the Father is thinking. And we need to come through our life when we grow up. We still grow up. And I mean, growing up is much learning and inviting the Holy Spirit in our life that he guides us to understand what it really means to be generous. It is the, the grace of God that invited all those workers in the vineyard. And the vineyard is the world where everybody in God's eyes are equal. And that is what Jesus Christ represented he was desperate to invite them because Jesus loves us, the pieces, as in our human understanding, right? So Mother Martha, did you want to say more about this? I just feel it's a wonderful story. Yeah. Because we get in, we, even when we're children, we get into this, it's not fair. He got more than I got. Uh, we, uh, well, not were... only kids say, Mother Martha. I told Miss Birdie too that we sometimes have that attitude too. We Look do. at her or him. You know, he got more than she did, and, and she did more the work than he did. Yeah, you know, it's like the da 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 like that, yeah. right? So, right? And you know what's so sad? When you're so much getting angry about what somebody else has, are you enjoying what you've been given? Exactly. And Jesus is the great equalizer. Mm -hmm. He makes us all equal before God. And yes. so that we should be happy for yeah. and thank Him every day. Because we are very blessed. And the blessing is always in the giving that you receive. This is a very true statement. Mm -hmm. It is a spiritual statement. It's right. in the giving that you receive. And that giving needs to be in an understanding what that giving really means. Most of the time if you Give yourself doing the things you like to do or not like to do. That is in the giving that you receive the blessing. That's right. See? So when you help your mom, yeah. mm -hmm. you're blessing her and you're blessing yourself. These are the ways that we're paying for our, our building and the lights in this room and the electricity and uh, the bathrooms and everything that keeps this place going, which still has to go on, even with the COVID virus. So we thank you and we will keep coming to you and we pray that you will come to us and give something to St. Matthew. Even if you are not a regular part of St. Matthew, and you're enjoying these broadcasts or our mass or our Bible studies or our morning and evening prayers, we ask you to help us out because we are in need of your help. Thank you so much. God bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you, the sun shine on you. Bye-bye. Oh. Well, bye-bye to your, what you have to offer to our church and to the world for our donations. But now, indeed, it is the goodbye again. So next week, and what I forgot was to put an invitation on Facebook, but there was a post that will come up every week. So the lessons are in the Sunshine Club edit. So you go there. We will bring the video there too for those who are not able to watch it. 
and you can watch it whenever you want to watch it. It's right. in your time, even if when you're, you're in bed, right? If Maybe you're going to dance in bed, you know, like the rapping, the denar <laughs> denarius. <laughs> so anyway, so um, that is there. Um, so next week, wow, it will be almost the end of September again. Amazing. Oh my goodness gracious. So, but we will be here. In the same exact hour, Saturday, 11, 11 a.m. Pacific yeah. Coast time. Yeah. So, have a wonderful Sunday tomorrow and have a blessed week for everything yes. you do. Bye bye. We love you. Thank you, Miss Birdie, for being here. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you, you Mother you. Marta, for being thank, here. Thank and you, thank, Mother you. thank you. And thank you all who are watching us. May you be blessed as Mother Martha blessed you and may that blessing stay on you. Bye-bye. Bye. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.